What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and as you guys know, I just moved to a new place and I had to redo my whole bedroom and I had a ton of stuff. So I was really unsure about what to keep, what to chuck and it got me thinking, maybe you guys have those questions too. What are the actual essentials for a guy's bedroom. What do we really need? So I made a list of the 10 things, the 10 essentials that every guy needs in their bedroom. This video is sponsored by Ashley Home Store and I'm gonna show you some of their awesome furniture in just a little bit. All right, well the first item on today's list is actually a really important one that guys, especially younger guys, tend to forget. I'm talking about a safe. Don't tell me that you're too young for a safe, right? The younger, the better to get started. We all have private things, personal items or valuable items. And guess what? You're gonna need a place to keep your important documents, your passport, maybe a bit of cash, your birth certificate, a few personal memories like old photos of you and your family or childhood best friends, or maybe some cash that you're saving up to buy a car or to move out. You should physically protect these things from obviously robberies, but think of other things too, like fires or earthquakes, things that you can't control. You know, get a safe that will protect your valuables from any of those bad situations just to be safe. Number two, a full length mirror. And I know for a fact that you've tried to see your full outfit in a tiny little mirror once and you have to either like get on a chair, right? It's all awkward on the bed. Maybe like you jump so you can see like your full outfit. You can see your hat and you can see your shoes. Look, without a full length mirror in your room, you just can't see your whole outfit together. You can't see your shoes, you can't see your hat or your hair and your sneakers at the same time. You're taking a gamble here on whether or not your outfit looks good. Get a full length mirror that will allow you to see your whole outfit from top to bottom and it's gonna save you a lot of trouble and a lot of embarrassment. Number three, a nice bed frame. If you wanna make your room look 10 times better, well, you need a really cool bed frame. It's gonna give your room that manly, mature look like, hey, I'm not a kid anymore, all right? I know what I'm doing here. Which brings us to today's sponsor, Ashley home store. As most of you know, I recently moved out, I moved into a new place, and they really hooked me up with a dope bedroom makeover. My bed frame is this really cool gray wooden finish with an awesome light on the headboard here just for reading or, you know, maybe setting the mood. The dresser is awesome with plenty of room for all of my things, and I have a lot of random things here. It has this huge mirror attached to it, which is great for fixing my hair before I go out. It is all from Ashley Furniture's Urbanology Collection, which is modern and affordable. And this is actually the nicest bedroom furniture that I've ever had. I'm really happy with it. They have everything, not only for your bedroom, but for the rest of your house too. And the best thing about all of this, besides it being affordable, is that you can see all of this in stores at a physical Ashley home store. Or you can just, you know, be convenient get it online, you can literally order this in bed right now online. It's very convenient. Honestly guys, setting up my room to look this nice was such a cool thing. It's a good feeling knowing that I have a cool bedroom with nice masculine furniture that I am proud of. The quality on all of these Ashley furniture pieces is actually amazing. So if you guys need to upgrade your room vibes, all right, I'm gonna leave the link to their website in the description below. Go check it out, see what they have, because you can decorate your room, you can actually set it up in a way that you've never seen it or never imagined it before. You can also click the link below to enter for a chance to win a makeover for your home. It's a $4,000 room makeover sweepstakes. The link is gonna be in the description right below the video. Number four, you need a Bluetooth speaker, a Wi-Fi speaker, or some type of wireless speaker. You gotta be able to control the, the vibes in your room, man, and the music is the best way to do that. For example, I use mine to listen to ocean or rain or forest sounds when I'm going to sleep almost every night. It adds a really relaxing vibe and it helps me sleep because of the white noise. Plus, of course, you can listen to your favorite tunes in your bedroom without having to wear like really uncomfortable headphones when you're laying down on your city in bed. I get a lot of work done in my bedroom, on my bed, like at night, right before I go to sleep. So I throw on a playlist, I get motivated, I get some work done, and then I go to sleep. Number five, manly candles. Every guy needs candles in their room, all right? Uh, look, you don't need to light them up every day, you don't need to be smelling them every single day, but you definitely need to have some handy. I've been really into candles lately, maybe more than I should, to be honest. But I wish I got started earlier. There's something about being home, listening to cool music with like a really nice scent from this candle. It's gonna push you to get your work done and your guests they're gonna appreciate this too. When I invite people over, I light some candles up to make sure my, my place smells super fresh, inviting, and man, it really works. Everyone that comes into my place really likes the scents from these candles. Number six, you need lots of storage. I absolutely hate clutter. Simple is always better for me. I don't like to see things everywhere. I don't like to leave things on my counter, on my dresser, my countertops. It's just, it's just not my style. So storage is huge for me. If I don't wanna keep things out, right, not visible all the time, then I need a place to actually put everything in. 
Everyone needs a certain amount of storage. Make sure that you have enough storage so that your stuff isn't laying around being displayed to everyone that walks in because it looks bad. Next up guys, long charging cables for your phone. All right, this is a simple tip to make your life so much easier. It's also one of those most annoying things not to have when you need it. I don't know which companies are making these like super short cables. I'm like, who's gonna, how am I gonna, I'm gonna be attached to the wall the whole time. You gotta step it up, brands that are making these cables. It's almost 2020, we need room to move our phones in. All right, when we're in bed, like scrolling through our phones, not being productive at all, wasting time going through people's feeds but we still need it. And guys, if you're gonna have anyone sleeping next to you on your bed, then have a cable on their side too because it makes it so much more convenient and easier for you and for them. Number eight, one of my favorite items on today's list, blackout curtains. Look, sometimes you're gonna get busy, you're gonna work a lot, and you're gonna get very little sleep. That's fine, it happens. You had to work long hours to get things done, I'm proud of you, but you need to sleep now, okay? And how are you gonna do that if it's like super early in the morning and the sunlight comes in and you can't sleep because it's super bright. I'm a very light sleeper, so I need to make sure that my room is dark and quiet. Blackout curtains, they're made out of this really thick fabric that blocks out any sunlight. So you can actually sleep in if you have to. It doesn't let any sunlight through, all right? Or for you lucky daytime nappers there, you can definitely take a nap during the day. I wish I could do that. For some reason, I can't take naps during the day. I've tried, I'll lay down, close my eyes, and trust me, a thousand things go through my head. I'm just not a nap person. So if you can do that, you're lucky. Next up guys, you need a door that locks for privacy. Of course, no matter what your age is, you need to have your own time and your privacy. Maybe it's just to relax, you know, to think about things, your life. Maybe it's just to play some video games. No matter how serious it is, we all need to be left alone at times, right? I'm like, yo, leave me in my room by myself, please. Don't come in, lock. But even more importantly guys, for safety reasons. You know, you really don't know when you might need that lock for your own safety. I recommend you get a doorknob that has it a lock built in. But if you don't have that, then install a little lock up top just to make sure that you can lock that door up if you ever need it, and hopefully you don't. Next on today's list, guys, you need some greenery, all right? And most guys are like, greenery, plants, pfft, no way. But listen, it's never a bad thing to have some sort of life in your room, some, like a nice plant to keep the place looking alive. Plants, they add some color, they add some life, they make your place feel more homey, more comfortable. I am a terrible plant parent. I always kill my plants. It's, it's actually sad. Don't judge me. I have some fake plants in my apartment now just because I couldn't keep the real ones alive. And it's not because I'm like a horrible person. I just travel a lot. I'm not home. So then I don't have time to water them. Then I have to ask friends to do it. So it's just a lot of work. So if you're like me, consider getting fake plants. And if you're not like me, if you're a better person, then get some real ones. Guys, don't forget to check out Ashley Home Store, who was nice enough to sponsor today's video. They have some amazing furniture listed on their website, so you can redo your whole house, your bedroom if you want to, because their stuff is actually awesome. And of course, follow me on Instagram, at Alex Costa. I've been posting there so much. You guys have, you know, fashion inspiration, travel inspiration. Even now, we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing some house stuff, man, so you guys can see my place. It's coming. The house tour is coming. It's not ready yet. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little while, not gonna lie to you guys. It's gonna be a little while, but it's coming. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.